the urinary or excretory system is another system by which the body rids itself of unwanted toxins or waste. Basically, the urinary system's main purpose is to maintain the body's homeostasis. In other words, its main function is to maintain the body's acid-base balance. It's important to know the human organism was meant to stay healthy and systems such as the urinary, digestive, skin, and other vital organ systems were created for that purpose. They are designed to keep the body healthy and able to withstand diseases. But if the load of toxins and or waste is greater than what these systems can handle, guess what happens? You can learn more about this by watching CTE Skills Introduction to the Cell and see how disease is created. In this introductory video on the urinary system, however, we'll just be taking a look at the purpose of the urinary system, the structures that make it up, the functions of each, and how they work together to maintain balance in the body. The urinary system, much like the integumentary system, doesn't have many parts, but they are truly essential to the survival of the human organism. Let's take a look at the basic anatomical structures of the urinary system. They are two kidneys, two ureters, one bladder, one urethra, and the urethra meatus. Now the two kidneys are bean shaped in appearance. They are located on either side of the vertebral column behind the upper part of the abdominal cavity. The kidneys are protected by the ribs and a heavy cushion of fat called the adipose capsule. They are literally suspended in the body, meaning unattached to any other major organ. They pretty much stay up by themselves. And for this reason, kidney punching in boxing is illegal. Each kidney is divided into two main sections, the cortex and the medulla. The cortex is the outer section of the kidney. It contains the majority of nephrons. Nephrons are microscopic filtering units. These filtering units are composed of the following structures. A glomerulus, a Bowman's capsule, a proximal convoluted tubule, and a distal convoluted tubule, and a collecting duct. Together, these structures purify the blood by removing excess water salt, sugar, metabolic products, and other substances the body needs to purge in order to maintain the pH acid-base balance and thus the homeostasis of the body. Now the medulla is the intersection of the kidney. It contains most of the collecting tubules which carry the urine from the nephrons through the kidney to the ureters. The ureters are two muscular tubes approximately 10 to 12 inches long and extending from the renal pelvis of each kidney to the bladder. Now the bladder is a hollow sac, much like the stomach, lined by a series of folds called ruga. The purpose of these folds is to allow the bladder to expand as urine is collected. The bladder typically holds up to one cup of urine and sometimes more until the urge to void or urinate is turned on. Leading from the bladder is the urethra tube. Its job is to carry the urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. The last structure in the urinary pathway of purging toxins from the body is the external opening to the urethra. This is called the urethra meatus. Now here's a very important note to make about the urethra and the sexes. In females, the urethra is only about one and a half inches long, and it is separate from the reproductive system. While in the males, the urethra is approximately eight inches long, and before the urine exits, it goes through the prostate gland. The urethra in the male is used by two body systems, the urinary and the reproductive. Only urine passes through the urethra in the urinary system. But in the reproductive system, only semen passes through. 
Urine and semen will never pass at the same time through the male's urethra. So what exactly is urine? Urine is the waste product that the urinary system is responsible for eliminating from the body. It's 95% water, and the other 5% is made up of urea, uric acid, creatine, mineral salts, various pigments, and sugar. Excess sugar found in the urine can be indicative of diabetes. In a day's work, the kidney can filter up to 150 quarts of liquid, resulting in about 1.5 to 2 quarts of urine. That's if you're drinking the proper amount of water. Last but not least, each of the kidneys have the adrenal glands attached to the upper portion. These glands have very important functions that will be explained in the endocrine system. Now before we finish, let's go over it one more time. The basic purpose for this system is to cleanse the blood. It filters out toxins such as excess sugars and salts as well as other substances. The main structures or anatomical parts are two kidneys, two ureters, one bladder, one urethra, and the urethra meatus. Each kidney is divided into the cortex and medulla. Inside the cortex of both kidneys are thousands of microscopic filtering units called nephrons. And remember, it's important to drink lots of water in order for the kidneys and the urinary system to continue to function properly. Thanks for watching. For more videos on the urinary system, visit cteskills.com.